with working and uh, playing ice hockey. I basically don't know what a holiday is about. All of my holidays have always been for ice hockey competitions. What has it meant to me, the game in my life? Well, it's just the only thing, basically, that I ever thought I knew I could do. And, you know, I've been playing it for 25 years, and, you know, I'm going to play for as long as the game allows me to play. Angela James, AJ, Recreation Director at a Toronto Community College and one of five veterans who have struck gold for Canada since 1990. This right winger is an all-time scoring leader and mentor to many younger players. I think the important thing through it all is that I remember where I came from. I'm not ashamed of it and I'll never forget it. Angela was raised by her mother in a Toronto housing project. I think, you know, every day someone would knock on that door and say, do you want to play? And I'd say yes and we'd come out here and we'd play for hours and hours. Or, you know, where we came in and around, we played right on the street there. So, you know that Cadillac commercial where it says car, car? That was us to a T. We did that constantly, I'm sure, like everybody else in Canada. Oh, yeah, we used to cause a lot of trouble, too. Slingshots with marbles in the windows got caught, though. Lots of things. <laughs> Yep. And everybody went their own way. Championship of the world at stake. Team Canada enters the final game and the place is packed. The Americans have been training intensely to get the jump on Canada. This Team USA looks bigger and tougher than ever. We're watching what the Americans do quite closely. They have bulked their team up. They're putting some big strapping girls on skates out there with that USA jersey. But I'll stack up a skilled, intelligent, player that can skate any day up against a big bruiser. And we'll just go around the Americans. King comes away with it. King gets the shot away. Can't find the most puck now. Back can't get this goal! Elena Blahowski. 1-1. Hey, guys, let's make a little commitment here to work them and chip the puck. Chip the puck. AJ, we got to chip the puck by these guys and then beat them to it. Goal for goal, shot for shot, Team Canada labors to stay even. Here's Wickenheiser with it. Haley Wickenheiser barreling across the line. Wickenheiser drop pass. Nancy Campbell with a shot. Tight, but the home side is going to do her. You just watch. We don't care. But, um, if you, and I is going to score. Three minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> it's either way, you know. It's either way. It's Angela. Here's Candy Granato. Granato back to the point. Ruggiero loose in front. They kick it ahead to King. King with a chance. Score. Great work by the U.S.
and get them down, get them on net. We must have a screen. And then we got someone off the far post for the shot pass, right? You guys, we don't have to win. We want to win. We have an opportunity here to make history and we decide the ending. Let's go, come on. For the core of Canadian veterans, it is world title number four. Sweet victory, savored tonight. Tomorrow, it's back on the road to Nagano. In the summer of 1997, the women who skate for Canada grab what relaxation they can between jobs and training. Come the fall, they'll face the most serious commitment of their hockey careers.
Cassie with this little gift from us for coming today. Appreciate that. I live alone. Uh, I have a car to pay and uh, rent, and so I got two jobs. I have to, to leave my both jobs and uh, to leave everything in here and uh, go to Calgary and for a centralization and uh, the final preparation of Team Canada. And it's a, it's a big commitment. Last year, I was with a, with a guy. I, I lived with uh, my boyfriend. I passed that, the last season in Calgary for full training from September to, uh, to April. And when I came back for Christmas time, I lost my, my boyfriend. And that was part of the sacrifices I, uh, I made. But uh, I'll, I'll never, uh, never change place with anybody else. At summer's end, the players make their way to the Olympic training camp in Calgary. Jobs are given up, friends and families left behind, all for a chance at glory. Nothing is guaranteed. Future Olympians. <laughs> for the first time, they will be full-time athletes with government funding, aiming for and expected to win Olympic gold. Did they see your belt yet? Did they see your belt? Oh, did you see my belt? <laughs> it's not like a going away, it's more of... See you later. Not even, it's more of, I told her, it's uh, she's pursuing a dream, a goal, so, you know. I gotta see her again, hopefully. Hopefully she'll come back, or maybe she might like Calgary, want to stay. But her mom's here, right? So she'll come back. So I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. Bye. 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 See you guys. Bye. 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 My company gave me an eight and a half month leave of absence without pay. Vicky works as a quality control technician in a soft drink factory. I can't qualify for any un unemployment. It's going to be very difficult. I don't know, we have to wait to see what kind of um, funding we'll be getting from Canadian hockey for, for training for the Olympics. And just take it from there, I guess. Just um, make do with what we get. I'm telling you, it's a waste of money. It'll never go bar straight across. And it makes you look, it makes it look like, oh, I almost won. So people keep betting. I'm telling you, you're she's better off winning. playing black She's black winning. What are you oh, she's playing with the machine. All right, play, play. This here is a computer, right? And it figures everything out for me. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Got it under control now. There we go. I guess not.